wish you a very good morning students how are you are you well very good we have discussed a few models modal verbs already in the previous videos and today i am going to discuss a new model and the next modal verb should where do we use should as a modal verb first of all you have to understand the difference between the meaning of should and must should and must there is a clear cut difference must is stronger than should as a modal verb either it is an obligation or it is a duty should is used for duty responsibility advice mild command not a strong command moral obligation and expectation when we shall discuss the examples of these categories you will be able to understand the concept of should where do we use should as a special verb as a modal verb as i have told you about the features of models or modal verbs that they are always used before a main verb but there is an example there is a category where these modal verbs are used without main verbs can you tell me where yes these modal verbs are used without main verbs in question tags do you know about question tags okay in question tags we use these modal verbs without the help of main verbs but here should is used to express duty for example one should obey one's elders this is the duty of everyone here one means everyone all one should obey one's elders one should do one's duty isko kai bar pronoun ke case mein bhi pucha jata hai yahan par blank de diya jata hai fill in the blank with a suitable pronoun one should do one should obey one's elders this possessive pronoun always agrees with the subject pronoun one should obey one's elders he should obey his elders she should obey her elders they should obey their elders in the same way one should obey one's elders one should do one's duty so here the modal verb should is used before the main verb obey to express the duty next example is we use should to express the responsibility in a sentence for example you should take care of your bag let us suppose we are traveling by a bus or traveling by a train then there is a line written in the bus you should take care of your own luggage nobody else you you are responsible to take care of your luggage so we use should to express the responsibility of yourself next is advice but this is not a strong advice you should work hard it is an advice for you that you should work hard this is the main verb and should is used here as a modal verb and the next is a mild command not a strong command because for a strong command we use some other modal verb that's why here if the sentence expresses a mild command then we use should you should 
कंप्लीट योर होमवर्क एवरी डे यहां पर शुड का मतलब है बहुत जरूरी नहीं है बहुत आवश्यक नहीं है या कोई स्ट्रॉन्ग कमांड आपके लिए नहीं है बट इट्स योर ड्यूटी इट्स ए माइल्ड कमांड यू शुड कंप्लीट योर होमवर्क एवरी डे इट्स योर ड्यूटी नेक्स्ट इज मॉरल ऑब्लिगेशन वेयर डू वी यूज शुड वी यूज शुड टू एक्सप्रेस द मॉरल एब्लीगेशन ऑब्लिगेशन ऑफ सम वन इन ए सेंटेंस For example, you should obey your parents. You should obey your parents. In this way, we use obligation. For obligation, we use should. You should obey your parents. It's not a strong command, but it's your moral duty. It's your moral obligation to obey your parents. Next is expectation. If we act. expect something from someone then we use should for example for example the rich should help the poor we expect this help for the poor from the rich or by the rich it means the rich should help the poor the rich should help the poor this is our expectation And the next is this is the one group of sentences in which should is used for duty responsibility advice mild command moral obligation and expectation you have to write at least two sentences of each category to have a good command over the use of should as a modal verb and the next is condition in case of condition and this is the most important type of sentence it is usually asked in all the exams because when the condition is there work hard what is work hard this is a verb and this is a phrase work hard then we use lest you should fail this is another clause here lest the word lest is a conjunction which joins two clauses this lest is working as a conjunction in this sentence which is joining these two clauses and there is a condition if you work hard you will pass and its reverse is advice is work hard lest nahi to you will fail you should fail it means always keep remember these two words lest and should every sentence that have the conjunction lest all the sentences that have the word or the conjunction lest you should fill in should with lest aap ye bhi keh sakte hain ki lest aur should ki aapas mein dosti hai they live together ikatthe rehte hain Usually this sentence this type of sentences are asked in all the examinations Next is purpose to express the purpose you should use should for example i taught them why did i teach them i taught them so that they should pass i taught them so that they should pass they should pass means they might pass that's why we use should to express a purpose and the next is advice what type of advice advice which have to be followed in the past but you didn't follow let us take two examples he should have gone by the flight maan lijiye kisi ko kahi jana hai aur wahan wo samay par nahi pahuncha For example, somebody had to go to take an entrance exam or a competitive exam, but he travelled by train and he got late and he could not appear in the examination. At that time, when he comes back, we can say we can advise him: "You should have gone by the flight. You should have, but you didn't." 
or he should have gone by the flight but he didn't and the next sentence is he should have paid the bills but he didn't ye iska meaning hai yahan likha nahi hota this is the meaning he should have paid the bills use bills pay kar dene chahiye the but we are advising him after when we came to know that he didn't pay his bills aise condition mein bhi hum should ka use karte hain and the last is probability when something is probable agar kisi cheez ki probability ho for example i know that my friend goes to library in the evening daily and somebody asks me where is your friend then i can say him because the probability of my friend's location is the library itself then i can say he should be in the library now and the next is indirect speech when in a direct speech shall is used then when we change it to indirect or reported speech we shall change shall into should next is would we shall discuss the use of would after the use of should as modal verb thank you very much dear students a very good morning how are you are you well okay good we are discussing the use of modal verbs in the series of modal verbs and today we are going to discuss the use of would would is the past form of will and where do we use would let us discuss a few points where we use would as a modal verb first of all we use would to make polite requests for more polite requests we use would agar hame kisi se bahut hi zyada vinamra bhav se request karni hai kuch lene ke liye ya to ask someone to do something kuch karwane ke liye to hum would ka use karenge for example would you please repeat again ek teacher hame padha rahe hain ya hame kisi ki koi baat sunni hai aur wo hame acche se sunai nahi di to hum usse bahut hi politely keh sakte hain would you please repeat again kya aap ek bar punah repeat kar denge punah is baat ko bol denge we are making a polite request next example would you lend me your car please means मुझे किसी बहुत ही जरूरी कार्य के लिए गाड़ी चाहिए आई हैव टू गो टू हॉस्पिटल एंड इट्स वेरी अर्जेंट वर्क देन आई वुड हैव टू मेक ए पोलाइट रिक्वेस्ट टू द ओनर ऑफ द कार एंड आई विल से वुड यू लैंड मी योर कार प्लीज इफ आई से पोलाइटली ही विल लैंड हिज कार डेफिनेटली इन दिस वे टू मेक पोलाइट रिक्वेस्ट वी यूज would and its next use is willingness or wish if i wish for something or willingness if i want to know the willingness or wish of someone other then i will use would as a modal verb let us take an example would you sing a song there is a program there is a party and i ask someone i want to know the wish or willingness of someone other and i ask him would you sing a song kya aap ek geet gana chahte hain would you sing a song i want to know the wish of that person next is would you like to have a cup of tea if someone comes to my house and i ask him would you like to have a cup of tea would you like to have a glass of water in this way would like when there is the word like and we want to know the wish or willingness of someone then we shall use would with like would 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 in this way we use would to know the willingness or wish of someone 
one more thing is there if wish is not others if it's my wish then also i shall use would to express my wish for someone other for example i am a stage secretary and i want to invite the chief guest on the stage then how should i invite him i will invite him by saying i would like to invite chief guest the chief guest sri so and so on the stage please i would like to invite him on the stage means it's my wish is the wish is the wish of the audience in this way we use would next is preference would plus rather if i want to prefer one thing to another in case of preference there are two actions there are two activities if i want to prefer one activity to the other activity then i shall use would for example i would rather die than beg rather than always keep in mind the use of rather than there are two action one action is to die and other action is to beg which action would i prefer i prefer i would rather die than beg main bheekh mangne se to acha hai ki mar jaun arthat bheekh mangne se bheekh mangne ki apeksha main mar jana pasand karunga i would rather die than beg in this way i use would as a modal verb and the next sentence is conditional sentences there are four types of conditional sentences zero conditional first conditional second conditional third conditional here in case of third conditional or second conditional we use would as a modal verb for example let us take two examples first is if i had wings yadi mere pankh hote this conditional sentence is totally unreal situation it is not possible ek aadmi kehta hai yadi mere pankh hote it's unreal condition if i had wings what is this had here after subject it means this is main verb here if i had wings and it's two we two simple past tense if i had wings i would fly v1 fly and would is used as a modal verb here yadi mere pankh hote to main udta next is if i had if he had visited me here this had is not a main verb as in the previous sentence because here visited is the main verb v3 it means it has been used as a helping verb here if he had visited me this is one clause of his of this sentence i would have helped him this is the structure of third conditional sentence if in the first clause there is had plus v3 then we shall use would have plus v3 in the next clause of the sentence if i had wings it means v2 in the first clause then we shall use would plus v1 in the second clause ho sakta hai aapko yahan thoda sa confusion ho iske liye hum conditional sentences ka topic alag se bhi discuss karenge jis par hum one by one sentences ko lekar aapko pratyek sentence ka pratyek conditional sentence ka concept acche se samjhayenge yahan aap keval itna dekhiye ki yadi ये कंडीशनल सेंटेंस हो तो हम नेक्स्ट क्लॉज में वुड एज ए मॉडल वर्ब यूज करेंगे नेक्स्ट इज इनडायरेक्ट स्पीच एज यू नो इफ वी यूज विल और सिंपल फ्यूचर टेंस इन द डायरेक्ट स्पीच देन वाइल चेंजिंग इट इनटू इनडायरेक्ट स्पीच वी शैल चेंज विल इनटू वुड फॉर एग्जांपल शी टोल्ड मी दैट यहां पर इस दैट कंजंक्शन से और रिमूवल ऑफ इन्वर्टेड कोमाज से हमें पता चलता है कि यह एक इनडायरेक्ट स्पीच सेंटेंस है 
इसमें हम विल के स्थान पर वुड का यूज करेंगे अब इसको आप एक्सपेक्ट कीजिए देखिए कि ये डायरेक्ट स्पीच में क्या था सी सैड टू मी आई शैल गो टू जयपुर एंड टू चेंज इट इन टू इनडायरेक्ट स्पीच वी शैल चेंज दैट पर्टिकुलर वर्ड शैल विच वॉज यूज विद आई नाउ आई शैल यूज वुड विद थर्ड पर्सन प्रोनाउन शी She told me that she would go to Jaipur. In this way, in indirect speech, we use would in place of will. And the next is past activity. For for a past habit or past action, we use would. We also use for a past action used to. Let's take an example. Gandhi ji would spin for a long time every day. Gandhi ji, as we know, Gandhi ji had died in 1948. Now he is not alive, and we are talking about the same Mahatma Gandhi ji. Gandhi ji would spin for a long time every day. Spinning was his habit, and habit of past. We shall use would. to express a past activity or past habit of someone and the last is to express the strong desire a strong will a strong wish i wish you would fight this election meri ichcha hai ki aap is chunav mein bhag le is chunav ko lade i wish you would fight this election in this way we shall use would as a modal verb i i hope you have understood the concept of would as a modal verb in different sentences thank you